So let's start by creating a form for our website. So in the Forms tab, I'm going to click on New Form. And here we go. We're actually at the, at the building part of the uh, site. So first thing, let's actually title our form. And I'll go uh, Contact Form for Aquarium. There we go. Description. I guess I don't need a description. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, contact form for description. Fine for me. So uh, let's see. We got language, English, uh, label placement, top left, left aligned, right aligned. Let's see. I, you know what? I'm not sure exactly what that does. Uh, I usually just leave it top left, but I'm sure if you click here, this property sets the fields labels to be placed either above the fields or to the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay, we could play more with that option later. We actually need to pop some fields in over here before we do anything. So, all right, we're good. We named our form. Um, let's go back here to add a field because this kind of took us to a different submenu. And what are we looking to to do with this um, form? Well, we're looking to to collect at least three pieces of data. The first is the person's name. Uh, the second is their email address, and the third is some kind of comment that we want to put in over there. You know, we could add more stuff like their phone number and their address, but, you know, it's kind of like a fine line. If you ask people for too much, then they're just not going to fill the form out at all, you know. So uh, I kind of err on the side of less is more, because at least that way you collect more information. Um, okay, so let's see. So the first order is the name. Here we go. If we just drag name over here, we have first and last name, and that's pretty easy. So that's great. Uh, the second thing we want is the email address, and I'll just slide it right there. Email address, cool. And you know, they have some pretty nice drag and drop functions. You see how you could align these just by dragging and dropping them on the page any way you want. Um, and let's see, back to add field over here. The last thing we want is. Uh, like a comment box and oh here we go paragraph text this is what we're looking for and we just pop it in there okay so far so good let me save the form in case something happens yeah continue editing alright so now we have the fields that we want but obviously we need to uh, do some stuff to them like I want to put something else over here instead of untitled and as far as name and email address I want to make these two required um, because obviously we can't send them like a confirmation email once they fill out the form or anything like that without their address and we definitely want their name so we don't just have an email address and so let's let's start by uh, messing with these fields if you actually click on one of these you'll see that you get to the field settings option over here and this is where we could kind of add some things now the first thing uh, field label name is exactly what we're looking for so that's fine field type name this is just a way that it uh, will format this field for you and I'm noticing now I don't even have options to change it that's more than likely because I chose the fancy pants um, ones to add where I could, where these kind of come pre-formatted with certain options where uh, you could have something similar like this I mean single line and maybe I put two single lines if I wanted and kind of make my own name thing uh, but I, yeah, I don't I don't need all that so what they have is just fine so let me go back to name field type I just leave those defaults show field to everyone perfect now instructions for user um, this is going to be when they click on here it'll show a little like tooltip to the right on what they should do so uh, you know why not let's let's use it uh, please There we go. So now when they click on here, this is what they'll see. That's cool. Oh, and let me click. There we go. Required, because I want them to, to have to fill that out. Okay, that's cool. Let's click on email. Sort of uh, the same deal. We'll go required. Now this is interesting. It says no duplicates, uh, which could be an option you want to use. Uh, so this will verify if the user ever sent anything in before, uh, so it's not a duplicate. Probably useful if you're using this for some kind of registration, like if you, you know, like event registration where they can only register for the event once. But um, if it's going to be for just a 
communications uh, form that we put online for general communications, uh, you probably don't want to use the not duplicates because then that means that you know if I want to you know send something to you twice, um, this will kind of uh, put the kibosh on that, and we don't want that. Um, now I'm looking here. So field type, we have email, and that's we can't change that because we did the fancy pants option. But it seems like we can change the field size. So uh, there you go. If you want to change it to small, medium, or large, I guess, you know, cosmetically, it looks like if we do large, it may look the same. But don't get your hopes up. Uh, the way browsers treat these elements is sort of, um, uh, you know, especially the stretchy elements, you'll, you'll find that it's hard to really get them to be perfectly aligned so you got to be a little more creative in that regard uh, and, and not, not that it's always a big deal anyway so um, let's see what else we have uh, we had email just to finish this one and of course instructions for users uh, um, we well they know what the email address is inherently but let's just give them some peace of mind we promise not to spam you unless you come over for breakfast yeah spam and eggs right everybody loves that I know it's I've eaten it I like it <laughs> I don't make it a habit though okay so we, we have email uh, now let's let's finish our untitled and we're thinking uh, comments this is exactly what we, we want this to do um, Comments. Let's not. We're not going to require the comments. Uh, who knows? Maybe they just want to contact us for something else. Okay. Uh, field size medium seems to be fine. Um, predefined value. Oh, this is something I think. I think we also had in in email. Yeah. Uh, predefined value means if we want to actually put content in here already, like uh, please contact me with promo offers right and then what would happen is is that when you have that let's see it'll actually pre-populate this thing oh no 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 predefined value that's what I meant uh, it'll populate that in there already uh, that's sometimes useful sometimes not um, so we definitely don't need it for this exercise and um, but we will still provide the users with instructions. So let's go. Uh, please let us know why you're reaching out to us. Why you're reaching out, that'll be fine. Okay. So I think, so we are, at this point, we're already done with actually creating the input portion of our form. We, c we can add a couple more things to it, but for now, let's just see what this looks like uh, on its own. So here we go. So I have contact form for Aquarium, the one I created. And what I'll do is click View. And here we go. So far, this is what our form is sort of going to look like. This is what it looks like in its own page. So you could use this just as a link that you send out if you didn't want to do anything more than that. But we are going to take it a step further and actually embed this into our page. So um, more on that to come.